Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot mainship trawler starting an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Gananoque is a common jump-off point to the Thousand Islands, a group of more than 1,800 islands in the St. Lawrence River along the border of USA and Canada. Some well-known buildings include Bolt Castle on Hart Island and Singer Castle on Dark Island. Today there are many cottages and elite homes along the waterway and the area is a hub for outdoor activities. The St. Lawrence River is a large river flowing from Lake Ontario into the Gulf of St. Lawrence connecting the Great Lakes to the North Atlantic Ocean. The Rideau Canal connects Canada's capital city of Ottawa, Ontario to Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River at Kingston. It is 202 kilometers long. The canal system uses sections of two rivers, the Rideau and the Cataraqui, as well as several lakes. Parks Canada operates the Rideau Canal. The name Rideau is French for curtain and is derived from the curtain-like appearance of the Rideau River's twin falls where they join the Ottawa River. Despite the use of canals, rivers and lakes, about 10% of the total 202 kilometers required man-made structures to account for changes in elevation between bodies of water. Lieutenant Colonel Bai headed the immense project starting in 1826. Most locks on the Rideau Canal are operated manually. To travel between Ottawa and Kingston, there are a total of 45 navigation locks with 23 lock stations. A lock station is a group of locks at one location. For example, here at Upper Brewer, there are two locks or chambers. It remains in use today primarily for pleasure boating, with most of its original structures intact. The locks on the system open for navigation in mid-May and close in mid-October. In 2007, it was registered as on a UNESCO World Heritage Site.
How's it going, Captain? It's going well. We are on our way to Upper Brewer for, I guess, the second time. We stayed in Morton's Bay. It was lovely. We swam. And now today the wind is picked up, so we've got to get, get ourselves to a point where it's nice and protected. So we're heading to Upper. We'll stay there for a couple days. Let this wind blow out, and then we'll head off somewhere closer to Kingston after that. 